Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ, and uh, welcome to something that's not a vlog. It's sort of an update and a let you guys know video. Uh, if you don't know already, depending on how fast my internet speed is, so how quickly this video goes out, or if you have Twitter, or if you've already seen another YouTuber uh, let you know, 4J Studios, the people that make Minecraft on the consoles, have just announced that TU25 and the PlayStation equivalent, I don't know what update they're on, I just go by Xbox title updates, but it's coming out tomorrow. The new Xbox and PlayStation, and I think Minecraft Pocket Edition, I might be wrong there, so don't... Don't quote me on that. But anyway, it's coming out tomorrow. Now, usually, I would be quite excited about it. But I have a few problems, okay? Number one, I've actually got the change log in front of me on my other screen. And I'm actually very disappointed in, in the update. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, though. What I've really made this video for is next week, I'm actually very busy in my real life outside of YouTube I'm very busy next week there's all sorts I need to do so I've spent this week and last week actually getting ahead and pre-recording some videos so I don't need to worry about getting videos done next week I could just upload them and then they'll schedule and they'll come out and you guys will still be happy but I've actually pre-recorded videos up until the 10th of July now the updates coming out tomorrow which is going to be the 1st of July. So, at a stretch, it's not terribly bad. That means that we've got a week and three days on my channel of, I'm not going to say old videos, but videos that aren't going to have the TU25 update in them. Now, I haven't done news videos uh, for a very long time, so... If you don't follow 4J and you don't watch any news channels, you probably don't know what's in the update. So I am going to go through it. But what I'm trying to say is, I know I'm still going to get hundreds of comments, <laughs> probably on every single video, saying, AJ, the new update's out. How come you don't have the uh, the new update? How come you don't have stained clay? How come you don't have the new doors? How come you don't have what's probably going to be a new UI, you know, a new, a new menu look? Uh, it's because I've pre-recorded the videos because I'm busy. I'm busy next week. It's very disappointing in a way. Uh, I'm, I'm really disappointed in, in 4J for just uh, su surprising us like this. Uh, obviously, don't get me wrong. I like updates. I have nothing wrong about getting an update for a game. A week's notice, though, is very nice. And they used to do that all the time. 4J used to always tweet out... Uh, the TU20 or whatever, TU21, TU8, TU13, whatever, is going into cert testing next week. Or it's going into cert testing tomorrow. Or anything like that. And, then, and that gave YouTubers especially a little bit of a heads up, a little bit of a notice to get their videos out that they have recorded already. Or at least get prepared, prepare their worlds ready for the new update, you know, start thinking of ideas of what they could use the stuff for if they haven't already. I have, obviously. Uh, and then by the time it goes through cert testing, usually about two or three or seven days, the update then comes out and we're all ready to go. But seeing as though I've now got pretty much nearly every video up until the 10th already recorded and uploaded onto YouTube, all ready to go out, it makes things very, very difficult uh, to get the message across to all you guys. So what I'm trying to say is, if you see a comment in the comment section between now and the 10th saying, AJ, the new update's out, how come you don't have the new update? Just inform them, either, uh, I don't know, link them to this video maybe. If Oops, I hit my mic, so I hit the camera, sorry. Uh, if you have, a, 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 if you could link this video to them in the comment section, or you could just tell them saying, uh, he's busy next week, so we had to pre-record some videos, and then the update was sort of a surprise for everybody nobody really expected it to be as soon as it was and that's why okay just a heads up they're not old videos they're still gonna be great videos I'm really pleased with the videos that I've actually done uh, but we're not gonna have the new stuff in it on the other hand it's still actually not gonna be that bad it's been I don't know what is it like six months at least something like that I think it's something like six months if not a little bit longer since we last had an update and we all thought that this update was going to be huge. Sorry if I look a little bit red. It's actually swelteringly hot today. And I've had to turn my fan off that I have in this room to keep it cool. Because if I have it on while recording a video, like you can hear it in the mic and it's really bad. So that's why I'll probably get redder and redder throughout this update, uh, throughout this video. So I've got the change log in front of me here. This is six months work. 
and I'm going to be a little bit critical here. I'm going to say that I'm disappointed in it. I know that sounds really bad. I know it sounds really harsh and that I'm not thankful. Low par for the time it spent them to do it. So we've got new fences. We've got uh, all the fences for all the different types of wood now. So birch, spruce, jungle, uh, and oak. Fences. The same with the gates. The same with the doors. And then we've got the iron trap door, which is just a normal trap door but can't be opened or closed by hand. It has to be used with a uh, redstone input to open and close. Inverted daylight sensor. A book and quill. That's pretty interesting that we can write in books. It's not that useful for me, seeing as though I play on Xbox One and we can't share maps. But for people that make, a, that make maps on Xbox 360 and then convert them to Xbox One, that is cool. That is useful. Why not? Stained glass and stained glass panes. Yep, I like those. We can do a lot with those being our uh, creative channel that we are. We've got the new custom super flat user interface. So we can actually have custom super flat worlds, uh, which will be handy in the future for me. Um, added new in-game option to allow the change, changing of game mode, difficulty setting, time of day, and spawn position per player. And disable or enable ambient cave sounds and weather settings. So we can change all of those settings now without backing out of the world. So let's say you wanted to put your world into peaceful mode or you wanted to lower the difficulty. You can now do it in game without quitting out, changing it, loading the world back up again. That's very handy. I know I'm going to get comments about that because I'm pretty sure I've done that at least three or four times uh, in the 10 videos or, or uh, the uh, videos that I've recorded up until the 10th. Pretty sure I've done that. So you guys, you guys can let um, everybody know if they say that. If you see it in the comment section, just let them know why uh, I done that. Uh, split load join interface to creative load and join. I don't know what that is. Uh, changed game mode selection to a slider. Uh, added the classic crafting option. So uh, basically, what that means is, you know, on PC, how you craft, where you like click and drag in. Hello, phone. Uh, where you click and drag in all of your. Uh, recipes all your ingredients to make the recipe like you know with a door you do log log or plank 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 and that makes the door my phone's ringing here that's my other half <laughs> she's um talking about next week see busy next week i wasn't lying uh so yeah the classic crafting menu you know how you can craft on pc well you're going to be able to do that on the console i will probably never use it because it's slower yes it's interesting but it's slower and I'm used to the way that we do it on console, so I'll be sticking with that. So that doesn't bother me. Uh, enable the USB keyboard for the use of Book and Quill and the chat pad for the Book and Quill. Doesn't bother me at all. And then there's a load of fixes. There's a load of crashes with redstone dust fixed. Uh, Tooltip issues fixed. Mind entities. Crashes, 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 crashes. Just a load of fixes. So basically, we've waited six months for different colored fences, gates, and doors. A couple of uh, a book and quill and some glass, super flat worlds, and the ability to craft a slower way than. Like I'm not thankful that I'm being a little bit critics crit criticistic crit critic. You know what I mean? It, it makes me sound like um, you know what I mean. I'm not, I can't even think of the word, uh, but it's because I am. I am disappointed by this update. Uh, I'm disappointed that more wasn't done. We were all expecting, or I was at least, expecting the new biomes. They were sort of hinting here and there at sort of new biomes. I might have just been misreading it. They, it's probably all my fault, really. <laughs> but I was expecting new biomes. I was expecting a lot of the other stuff. Uh, they did also tweet out that they were changing beacon colours. In fact, they even done a picture of, uh, I think, of uh, being able to change the colour of beacons via stained glass. They haven't put it in the change log. It is in it. They might have just forgot off the change log. There might even be more things on the change log. I might be wrong. They might be even more surprising. And when the actual update comes out tomorrow, there might be all the new biomes. At the moment, I have absolutely no idea. Anything could happen. It's all a bit up in the air. It's all a bit surprising and a bit weird. Um, but yeah, that's all this video is. It's just a very quick, what are we like 10 minutes now? Cut out the phone call. Yeah, about like nine and a half minutes. Um... Of, of ranting basically isn't it <laughs> it's just a, a bit of a rant video 
Uh, but yeah, that is the entire change log. I'll leave the change log if I remember. I'll put the change log in the description below so you can click on that and have a look at it if you want. You can have a look at some of the, the fixes. Maybe they've fixed something that you were really annoyed about. And then it makes it all worthwhile for you. But six months for literally about five things, five different things, uh, is disappointing. It really, really is. But at the end of the day, we have so much to do on all of our worlds that if anything, I'm sort of not pleased that we haven't got a huge update. But we've still got so much to do that we need to do uh, sort of before we can even think about other series using the Mesa biomes and stuff like that. I've got all sorts of ideas for future series and everything like that. Uh, but we are absolutely fine with all the series that we've got running uh, currently, uh, as far as Minecraft goes, with all the up, with all the uh, all the plans that I've got going. I'm really, really excited about it. Let me know what you think about this update in the comment section below. Now that you know it's coming out tomorrow, now you know what's how little, in fact, is in the update. I want to hear: Are you guys pleased that you've waited six months for stained glass, or are you disappointed like I am? I don't mind. Right. Write your opinion. I want to hear your opinion. If you're really, really pleased with it, then let me know. I still want to know uh, what the overall opinion of it is. There's also some other news. There's a uh, mashup pack coming out tomorrow, I think, as well for PlayStation. A uh, little big planet one. Never played the game, so I don't really know uh, or, or bothered about that. And I think there's a Minecon um, skin pack for free as well. That's becoming available, which I'm not too bothered about either. Obviously, I never, as a YouTuber, I very rarely, if ever, change my skin. So that doesn't bother me either. But anyway, as a recap, as a final recap to make sure you've all, it's all gone into your heads. I've got videos recorded up until the 10th of July. Uh, the update comes out on the 1st of July. So it's sort of 9 slash 10 days before you will start seeing the new content which i suppose we might use some stained glass now and again and we might use some colored fences now and again but nothing else i can't see me using anything else on there for a very very long time uh yeah subscribe if you haven't already if you want to keep up to date with uh, all my stuff and you're interested to uh to be with us on our journey of our channel and I'm, I keep looking at the change list as if something magical is going to change on it. But it hasn't. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, I shall uh, see you. Uh, I'll see you on the 1st. I'm doing a vlog on the 1st tomorrow. So you'll see me then. That is already recorded as well. So you'll be able to see that. And uh, and yeah, please let everybody know in the comment section. If you see a comment saying about why don't I have the new update, let them know link this video just tell them be polite about it don't be rude about it if the people haven't seen the video then they're not going to know link them to the video let them know about the video just tell them it anyway works all right guys see you in the next video there's videos coming out tonight depending on when what time this video goes out if it goes out before 9 30 there's a theme park video if it goes out after 9 30 a theme park video has already gone out and a let's play will be out in early hours of the morning for the uk people late evening for america all right guys bye